Okay, another thing I noticed is that the roof type is not correct. So if you take a look at the drawings, um, let me pull them over. It says that you're working with an asphalt shingle roof with roofing paper, five is five eighths inch sheathing, and a two by ten rafter with half inch gypsum board. So it means that there doesn't need to be um, a ceiling right underneath this roof because in the attic space it's finished with gypsum board. So what you want to do is in Revit is you want to find something that's already a 2 by 10 rafter. So we're looking for a wood rafter, 10 inch asphalt shingle. So we're going to change all our roof types to that. And then you want to check it. You may want to rename it and I'm going to call it um, project. And then I'm going to edit the structure. So asphalt shingle we had. Um, and now we had a layer of roofing paper, so we're going to insert uh, a thermal. Actually, sorry, it's going to be a membrane layer. And we're going to look for roofing paper. It'll be zero. Um, then we have sheathing, so it's five eighths of an inch sheathing. And I didn't pick this category here, but you should. I'm just trying to make the video wrap up a little quicker. Structure, and then we need to insert a layer below it. And this layer is going to be finished layer. And this is gypsum board, so we're going to search for gypsum board, and that is going to be a half inch. Okay, so once you have the proper roof structure, you should apply that layer to all the other layers of your roofs. Now let's talk about the actual plans here that you have. So I hear that, or I hear, I see there's a floor right here. Um, Whew, I'm having a hard time reading these, so just give me a second. Okay, here's your floor. We're going to edit that type. Um, okay, so first thing that's incorrect, and we've gone over this several times in class, is that the only thing that's between the core boundary is the structural layer. And right now you have no structure for your floor, so there's absolutely no nothing supporting this floor. Um, if you take a look at the drawings, especially the section, you'll find information about what the floors are made out of. This was the point of the quiz to show you this information. So right here you see, oops, that the floor is made out of three quarter inch tongue and groove sheathing over 11 and quarter inch floor trusses. So when you selected a floor for this house, you should have selected the one that had trusses to begin with. Okay, so I needed the truss one. I needed to edit type and duplicate, rename this one. I'm just going to rename it project at the end and then I'm going to edit it and I had tongue and groove, it's fine that I have oak flooring, that's fine. But the structure is plywood sheathing, it's actually tongue and groove sheathing, three quarters of an inch is what's shown on my plan and this one said 11 and a quarter inch floor joists. So I have to change the structure wood rafter joists to 11 and a quarter. Okay, so now the floor structure is correct for this space. Some other things that are uh, incorrect on this drawing are your stairs. So you're going to want to delete those out. There's a landing on the stairs. So when you create stairs, you can go back to your book and look at how to create stairs. So you're going to want to click the stair tool. You pick the location line. So I want them to start over here on the left. I pick the left. I run them up to a certain point and then I run them over and I have to keep extending until it says zero remaining and then I click oops one mistake I made sorry about that let me try that again our run is left we go up then we change our run to right we go over until it says zero remaining and we click so now it's created a landing between the stairs and then there your stairs are all set, you just need to move your walls around. Um, and you can do that on all the levels. Okay, make sure your tags for your windows are always on the outside. If they're on the inside, it means your the wind the glass in the window is not facing the right direction. So they may have been facing the incorrect way originally. So all those tags need to be on the outside. And 99 wouldn't be the correct tag. You would want to use the numbering that's shown on the plan. So I believe those numbers are labeled as 4 and 18. 
the labels that you did are very good. Thank you. Those look excellent. Um, for the kitchen, you're going to want to go ahead and after, for our next project, you want to create all the cabinetry, add those components in, add the components for the furniture in. And then we have the garage here. Make sure that the garage also has a floor. On the second floor, um, which is, oh good, it's this one. We're going to look at the floor boundary. Uh, your floor boundary is really inconsistent here, so sometimes it's in the middle of the wall, sometimes on the edge of the wall, sometimes it's in the middle of the wall. So you need to make sure that those are all consistent and extending into the core boundary. Um, the other thing is that that floor on the second floor is the same as we saw below. It's over 11 and quarter inch floor truss, so you're going to want to um, make that into the project. And if you want it to be carpet instead of wood floor, you can just edit the type and you can change that flooring in here. But this definitely has to be the same. Um, let's see. The first floor for the cased openings, so these are actually drawn incorrectly. You don't just leave a gap in the wall for a cased opening. Um, you're going to want to pull this wall all the way across and cased openings are going to be found in, as a component and they're going to be an opening. If you didn't load those in, you're going to want to go to insert, load family, openings, and then it's a cased opening. You say open and now if you go to architecture and select a component, you'll find the cased opening and you can place it here you know it's correct because it places dashed lines indicating that there's a door header above. Make sure you choose the right size that matches the drawings. Okay, so anytime you do that with these gaps in the walls, that's actually incorrect. You need the case to opening there, if that's what it shows. And then the other thing I can't understand is the ceiling that you've created here. Um, there is no ceiling. It's actually, if you look, it says that, again, there's a floor on that level. So it's that same floor, the tongue and groove floor with the 11 and quarter inch floor trusses. So right here at this level, you need to delete the ceiling out. And you should have a, another floor that's created on that level. And it should be the same floor type that you used for the first floor and the second floor. Um, so you're moving along pretty good. There's just, you know, some of those small things that you need to touch up. Just keep trying with them. Um, one other tool I'll show you that's a tip for the roof is if you want this roof to extend back to meet this roof, you would click on the roof and then use the join roof tool and then you would click on the face of this roof, which is sometimes hard to grab. So we click on the edge of this roof, the face of this roof, and it will pull that back. Um, I'm not sure why I'm getting an error message. Let me try that. Okay, so click on this roof. We're going to join, and then we're going to click on the edge of this roof, the face of this roof, and then it pulls that roof back. So anytime you have that situation occurring, like over here, for example, uh, if we look at this roof, we're going to attach this one to the underside. This roof is actually, I believe, if we look at one of the side elevations, then let me find this one. It's just a single slope up so we're going to have to edit the footprint we want to uncheck one of these slopes oh that's not right this is it's okay to mess around sometimes i can't get it the first time either i have to think about it a couple times Okay, so it's this right here. So this is 6 to 12, and this should also be 6 to 12. And then we'll hit the green check mark. Ah, there we go. There's that weird roof angle. Yep. But then we want to attach this into this roof. So we use this roof join unjoin tool, select the side of the roof, select the face of this roof, and then it pulls that roof over to where you need it to be. So just some tips. Um, go back through, get rid of the basement adjust your roofs, adjust some of your walls, how they're attaching to the underside of the roof, make sure that they are um, correct. If you need to edit any of the footprints of the walls, go ahead and do that. 
So if you remember, we just clicked on the wall and hit edit footprint and then we trace the underside of these slopes here and that helped us to create the wall we wanted. and just take a look around, um, check out those floors, the cased openings. I think you can get this done, you just need to add just um, a couple more touches to it.